Hello, I'm Dave Llewellyn. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. The Wayne County Ethics Board has dismissed a complaint against Treasurer Eric Sabri. He had been under investigation for his family's purchase of tax foreclosure properties. But in a 5-1 to one vote, the board ruled a 2012 ethics ordinance did not apply because purchases by his wife were made the year before. The board also believed Sabri didn't know about his son bidding on a property in 2017. Sabri's lawyer is quoted as saying he feels vindicated. A Wayne County Sheriff's deputy is cleared on charges related to a road rage incident. A jury found Ramon Alum not guilty. He was accused of pointing a gun at a female driver and two passengers on Telegraph near Schoolcraft on Detroit's west side in 2017. But after hearing the evidence, the jury acquitted him on charges including felonious assault. It was a final goodbye for one of the auto industry's greats. Family, friends, and former colleagues paid their respects Wednesday to Lee Iacocca in Bloomfield Hills. In his 32-year career at Ford and then Chrysler, Iacocca was known for adding the Mustang to Ford's lineup in the 1960s and pulling Chrysler back from the brink of bankruptcy. Iacocca passed away last week at his home in California. He was 94 years old. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth now with a check of your seven first alert forecast. A little steamy, huh? On Wednesday, we'll have that to start Thursday, but it gets drier as we go along. Starting at 72, going to 85. So 85 is the average high this time of the year. We'll be around there or just shy on Friday, but it's a really comfortable day with lots of sunshine. Saturday and Sunday, both days mostly quite nice. Mid 80s, a very slight chance each day for a little rain. That means most of it's going to be dry. All right, Dave, thanks. Two men caught on camera are suspected of stealing rent money in Macomb County. Investigators say they tampered with a rent drop box at Westbridge Manor in Macomb Township last month. Several envelopes were missing. If you can identify the men in these images, call the Macomb County Sheriff's Office. Those are your headlines. Go to WXYZ.com and our app for news anytime. Have a great day.